Hi, this is Laura, and welcome to Huntsman Cancer Institute's Artists in Residence program. This week we have our second holiday project, and it is painted canvas tote bags. And the materials you're going to need is you'll need a blank canvas tote bag, which you can buy at an art supply store. Um, if you're particularly ambitious, it's not terribly hard to sew one, which I've done before, but I didn't sew this one. And then you're going to need uh, any kind of paint you can use on fabric. So I have special fabric paints. Um, you can also use some um, acrylic paint will work too, just don't want to get it too thick. Um, or you could use some fabric markers, and I think a Sharpie marker would probably work as well. Um, the key is to not put your tote bag in the dryer when you wash it because that's what really fades any color that you have on the bag. So I'm just going to show you what I have done to give you some ideas of approach. Um, I used brushes, a uh, foam brush, and also some foam uh, uh, stamps, some natural sponges. And so for this one, it's a variety of marker. So this is marker line. There's some stamping with this pink right here. This is hand done with a brush. And then this is the sea sponge as well. And then I don't know if you can see there's tiny little yellow circles that I did with the marker. So this is a good example of a lot of variety and just working right on top of the white. And then on this side, really fast and really simple and I kind of like the pattern that's going on here. So I just took a brush to make these pink stripes and then I took this makeup sponge to do these sort of floral, circular floral forms on top. Super fast and really kind of um, animate the bag. And then I did another one as well. And in that one, I made both sides match, even though they're pretty different. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention, when you're painting on your bag, it's important to put some kind of liner in between. So I use pieces of cardboard. Um, you just don't want your two sides to stick when it dries. You could also use like wax paper. Um, trying to think what else might work. Some aluminum foil. Probably the the best would be if you took a piece of cardboard and wrapped it in aluminum foil. Um, but the cardboard works just fine. So for this one, I also used the brush to create the stripes. There's a thinner stripe that's with marker. Then the stamping again. And then this brown stem is just a paintbrush. And here's another botanical one. And again, a lot of different techniques going on. For this one, I blocked in the whole background right away with the light green and then worked back on top of that. Um, and you know, sometimes the paint will run a little bit on fabric. And what I usually suggest to people is just to go with that. So you're gonna get a blurry effect. Um, if you want to clean it up, you could do a little outlining with a brush that has a fine point or with a marker. So these are my examples. And I hope you have a chance to do this. It would be an excellent gift for the holidays. You can make a bunch of these to give people. So that's it. And I look forward to talking to you next week. And we're going to be working on wooden holiday ornaments. Hope everybody's doing well. Bye.